Hello, I'm Sarah Girard in the WUFT Newsroom. For Monday, November 2nd, here's your News in 90. A sinkhole that opened up near Tampa this weekend has left several people out of their homes. At least two homes in Sefner were evacuated after the massive sinkhole opened up in their backyards. A geological team is expected to survey the area in order to determine the next step. An Uber driver in California was attacked after an uncooperative passenger turned violent. The driver, Edward Caban, says the rider was clearly incoherent and aggressive. When Caban told him the ride was over, he began punching Caban repeatedly, trying to slam his head into the glass. Caban was able to spray his mace before police arrived and arrested the rider, identified as Benjamin Golden. Uber has since banned Golden from their services. Secretary of State John Kerry was in Kazakhstan today on his third stop as part of his visit to Central Asia. He held meetings with Kazakhstan's president and foreign minister in hopes of deepening the United States' economic and security ties in Central Asia. Kerry visited Kyrgyzstan and Uzbekistan over the weekend and will head to Tajikistan and Turkmenistan next. Ships remained docked in Greek ports today as sailors and port workers walked off the job in a 48-hour strike. They've been protesting against further pension cuts and labor reforms agreed with Greece's international lenders under its third bailout deal. They also plan to take part in a general strike next week, the first since the leftist-led government came to power in January. That's your News in 90. Thanks for watching.